This is what you gotta deal with, whether you like it or not. It's what you make up going on YouTube. It's your boy Derek back with another video, man. And as y'all can see, we are still out here, man. We still out here. I'm, I'm about to drop this trailer right here and uh some more at this damn um, drywall plant, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to go pick up another load going to uh Glen Allen, Virginia. So I want to give a big shout out, man, to Trucking With Tay, man, and uh chasing Andrew Jackson because I seen a video that he posted that uh that Trucking With Tay posted a couple days ago and they actually linked up, man. They actually linked up and did a video together and I personally used to watch both of them before I even got my CDL, before I started trucking, before I started any of this, you know what I'm saying? I was watching both of them, man, and they both gave me motivation. I remember watching chasing andrew jackson when he was uh when he just got into it and he was flexing with all the money you know what I'm saying he was saying how you make a band in the week and all that stuff and all that was giving me motivation and you know watching uh trucking trucking with tay coming along his way his journey with maverick and everything so i i want to be next up man i really do i really do want to be next up with them guys man i hopefully one day you know what i'm saying i can get to that level and really be really be out there with them folks man for real but y'all see it man Y'all see it, man. Y'all see it. I'm up, I'm loving it, y'all. I just I uh I had a 12 hour round trip uh yesterday. I went from uh Mount Holly, North Carolina, all the way to uh where did I go? Where did I go? Marshall, Virginia. So that was about it was about 13 hour round trip. I ate that up, man. Ate it up, man. Give me that money, boy. I want all of that. Give me all of that money, man. That's a good trip right there. That that was a that was a good little trip. So I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Cause them pockets finna be fat for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Gotta gotta buy jazz some stuff, gotta get the boys some stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to cop a P5, y'all. I'm trying to cop a P5, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a P try try trying to get an Xbox uh Series X, you know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to do what it do. You know, I want both. I need to get a TV on my truck. Hey, if y'all play if y'all if y'all on Xbox One and y'all play Call of Duty Cold War, drop them Activision names in the comments, man. Drop them, cause I be on there every weekend. Sometimes if I'm home throughout the week, I hop on for an hour. You may catch me. Hey, I'm tell I'm a beast, man. I'm a hey, I might post. You know what I'm saying? I got a screenshot. I dropped 68 kills, man. I think I might drop it right here. I might drop it right there. You know what I'm saying? So 68 kills, man. And, and hard point two? Ooh. I went 68, 68, what, 21? Something, something crazy, man. I had like a 3.5 KD. Called in two, two att attack, chopper, all of that. All of that, man. But back to trucking, man. Back to trucking, man. We, man, I think I'm going to set this up. I want y'all to see what it's like. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to try to set this camera up on somebody else's trail. Am I gonna be able to do that? Nah, that ain't gonna work. All right, let's try. Uh, if I open this door right here and I put this right here, let's see what that. Mm. See y'all, this is why I need a tripod. This is why I need a tripod, y'all. This is why I need a tripod, y'all. I'm about to get one though. I'm gonna get one real soon. So I'm trying to set this camera up for y'all. So y'all can do what it do, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can see me do what it do. All right, it don't look like I'm gonna be able to set the camera up how I really want to, but this is what we is gonna do. First, I'm gonna disconnect the airlines, you feel me? You feel me? Because your airlines is very important. Airlines is very important. You know what I'm saying? You can just lift it up, lift a little thing, little cap up right here. Just wiggle it. There you go. Wiggle it out with your glad hands. Twist it up. Pulls right off. You know what I'm saying? Real easy, y'all. Come on now. Y'all know I do this, right? Y'all know I do this, man. Real easy. Next, I'm going to come back here. We got... The uh, locking arm, whatever you want to call it, but you're supposed to pull it and it's going to unhook the trailer. Pull it out, pull it forward, 
it opens the uh the jaws down there that's wrapped around the kingpin and holds it open now this is the hard part y'all the landing gear the landing gear is hard i'm gonna be real some trailers you get lucky with an easy one but majority of the time they hard i'm gonna be real with you majority of the time they hard you know i always put a bungee around it you know what i'm saying because i don't want this thing you know if you don't put a bungee around it it'll just be you know it can just flap you hit a hard turn or something the thing flap out you know what i'm saying if a car is close man look at this look how far it stick out you know what i'm saying that can hit somebody's car, y'all. That can hit somebody's car. You hit the wrong turn. And then now, boom. You in trouble. You in trouble. Your ass is great. Your ass is great. So let's see what we can do right here. Let's see. Oh, the nail mud flap, man. Shit. All right. All right. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, there we go. I got it, y'all. There we go. Okay. So I usually have both my gloves on, but I was using it to record, my other hand to record, but sometimes, but I do this so many times and I still forget which way is down. So usually I go on one way, boom. So right, going right is gonna take the landing gear down. And we show you a trick. It's like a little groove right here, a little gear that you uh, you push in, but it's like a bolt and you're able to uh, pull the actual landing, this, this here you're able to pull this forward a little bit but still keep it in like the high gear so that it uh it'll go down faster so like i said so that's that's up this way is down so back towards me is down but look how i'm doing it though you would have to sit here and if it was locked go all the way around like that go all the way around like that for me when you loosen it up you're able to move it and you, you can finesse it i finesse it like this watch this Well, I got I gotta leave here we gotta we gotta leave corners corner protectors and we gotta leave bungees so I'm gonna uh go ahead and throw some of those onto the trailer Woo! y'all it's cold out here y'all it's cold it's cold my hand my hand freeze y'all my hand freeze off like no cap it's cold it's cold and see our um our loads get pre-tarped not all the way tarped but a little bit of tarp that's why we gotta leave the corners and the bungees so that the guys that actually tarp our loads are able to do it so if you in the trucking industry man you're not leaving the tarps and you're not leaving the bungees and you're not leaving the corners you only hurting, you know what I'm saying, your fellow drivers. Cause I done had some trailers where I didn't have any corners. I didn't have any bungees, none of that. You know what I'm saying? So you only hurt, you only hurt your, 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 your folks, your own people. You know what I'm saying? So that's all it is. And then you got a bunch of bungees right here. You just take it off, take them off like that. Watch it, y'all. Bam, you're done. So I dropped my landing gear. I unhooked my trailer and I unhooked all of my glad hands, electrical lines, air lines, all of that good stuff. So now y'all, I'm ready to pull out. I'm ready to, I'm ready to rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? So let's hop back in the truck. <clears throat> It's cold, y'all. It's cold. So I'm gonna just start the truck. Bye, boo. Let's go. 
So now you know. Since it ain't no trailer connected, you do not hit your trailer brake in. You only pushing in your tractor brake. You only pushing in your tractor brake. So I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. Cause now I'm finna drive to go pick up my other trailer. My other trailer is uh 11 11760. So yeah, so but I also got this uh this little button I can hit and it lowers the suspension on the trailer. I mean, well, on the tractor. So it makes it a little smoother when I pull off and all that, you know what I'm saying, all that extra stuff. So y'all gonna hear it's like a loud beep, but I'ma throw this joint in the gear, throw it in the gear, hit my little button, let it lower for a second, and then just ease out, ease out. Oh, y'all know what I did? Hey, hit my I got I got my phone where I got the brake. My fault. <laughs> so yeah, ease on out. That easy, y'all. Hit my button. Lift my suspension back up. Let's go find my trailer. Okay. We're on the way. We on the way, 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 way. We on the way, 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 way. God, wait, man, I gotta get, a, I gotta get another camera, man, so y'all can see, y'all can really see out, and y'all can see me. I'm gonna try to do some bagging, you know what I'm saying? Show y'all how, how to bag and all of this stuff, man. It's just a lot I want to do, but I gotta get the resources. But I'm gonna do the best I can for right now. I'm gonna do the best I can for right now. So, 11760. That's the trailer I'm looking for. 11760. I'm really, ho I'm really hoping that. You know what I'm saying? I got a, it's a 53 footer, you know? 11 means 53 foot. If you got a 48, if you're, the trailer I just dropped was 48322, that trailer is a, is a 48 footer. And then you know you got trailers that start with the with the number uh, fifty seven six five. You know that that there is a uh, fifty foot trailer, and um, we got some older trailers that are kind of different numbers. I think the ones that start with uh, fifty five. Oh, please let that be my law. It looks so easy. It's only but one trailer over here. It's only one Cypress trailer over here. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all this load, y'all this load looks so easy to tarp. Hey, I, I pray that it's me. I pray that it's my trailer. I pray I can't, I couldn't tell from back here, but you know, we about to find out. That load look a little small, man. Look, it looks, it looks small. Maybe I only had to throw, but like one or two straps. You know what I'm saying? And, and, hit, and hit the road. So. You know, you gotta drive. I gotta drive around to find a trailer. You know, if when you get into your own truck and or you get with your trainer and you get into the trucking land, you are gonna see all the stuff that we do and why stuff takes time, more time than you would even think. You know, so okay, that one don't look okay. Needs a uh, needs a couple. I don't even know if that's my trailer now. I'm up here already trying to see what I'm gonna do with it. Oh. Please, please. Oh, it's my trailer, y'all. Let's go. Let's back it on up. Back it on up, y'all. So we better back it up. We better back it up. So I'm going to try to line myself up with the trailer the best way I can. You know, it's, it's just like backing up a car. When you bobtail and you're backing up to a trailer, it's just like driving a car. It's like driving a damn Suburban or something. You know what I'm saying? Damn. You know, it's like, eh, coming in a little crooked, but then I'm about to straighten it up. Straighten it up. Straighten it up, player. Straighten it up, player. Oh, I ain't straighten it up, y'all. That's that's my fault. That's okay. I just got to pull to the right a little bit. It's all right. You know, I'm backing it at an angle. You know, I ain't I ain't no damn professional yet, y'all. Y'all know this is, this is just my second month, man. You know what I'm saying? This is my second month. Really out here on my own. But... You know, 
I do, my backing is definitely a whole lot better though from when I first started. A whole lot better. So, all right. I'm even with the, with the, with the, with the trailer. All right, now y'all, yeah, be prepared because if you, if you hit the gas too hard when you back under the trailer, you'll, you'll got down. Oh, I did that smooth. There we go. Smooth enough. And then I'm backed up. I'm pretty sure that the kingpin is locked. But you always do a tug test. You're never, you're never too short. So you switch it to drive. Put a little bit on the gas. You're gonna, you're gonna shake a little bit. All right. I ain't going nowhere. So now I know I'm hooked up. Pull my brake. I'm gonna turn my truck off. Get my gloves. And let's see. Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do, y'all. Let's see what it do. Easy load, y'all. Easy. Easy load. Easy. Look, y'all, I don't think I, I don't even think I got a throw any straps. Do I got some straps? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, y'all can't even see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw a strap right there. And I'm gonna throw a strap right there. I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw two, two straps. I'm gonna throw two straps. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna come around to the other side. It's an easy load right here, y'all. Easy load. Easy. Well, easy, easy to tarp. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm really trying to say. You know, easy to tarp, man. There we go. Got it with the corners. Y'all, that's a long video, y'all. This is only 17 minutes. Might just split this up. Do something. This video long. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna split this video up in two parts. I'm gonna split it up in two parts. All right. We'll throw another strap right here in this gap. So you got your little. I don't know if you can see it, but you got a strap that's on your rub rail right here. So just, yeah. Sometimes they put the straps on there tight, so you got. Pull your strap. Pull your strap. You roll it backwards. You know what I'm saying? When it's put on the right way, just roll it backwards. Just roll it backwards, y'all. It's easy. It's easy. Just roll it. Roll it backwards, fam. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, it's time consuming. I know. I'm trying to keep y'all entertained, but yeah, man. This is, what, this, this, this is what you gotta do. This is, what, this is what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It's worth it though. I think it's worth it, especially when you get used to it. And then watch this, y'all. You gotta be a quarterback. If you play quarterback in high school, middle school, you, you might have the advantages. You gotta throw that thing over there like that. I'm telling you, y'all, your shoulders. Yeah, I done got strong, y'all. I'm telling you, I done got strong out here, y'all. I done got, ooh! Let me go throw this other strap, Play. 
Yeah. That throw was ugly as hell, y'all. I don't even want to. I don't think I even made it to the other side. Yeah, that was ugly as hell. Yeah, that was ugly as hell. Yeah, see? I didn't even make it to the other side. But this, if this damn trailer right here wasn't so close, I could throw it up at an angle, but it's like I'm throwing it straight up, you know? So it's making I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. But damn. You know, oh, you gotta roll this other one up. This is this is really what it's like, y'all. This is the life of a truck driver. You know what I'm saying? This is just this is what you gotta deal with. Whether you like it or not. It's what you make of it. Got that strap over. Damn, it was in the camera. Y'all seen that? Y'all seen that? Oh, now I gotta put the uh, corners on. Let's go put the corners on. Wow, you want your straps? You want everything to look as even as even as you can. You know what I'm saying? Like the length or the width between the straps. You know, I'm putting y'all on gang, y'all. Like y'all gonna know everything before you even go to school. Before. Shout out to y'all, man, that watched my damn How to Pass Your CDL Permit Test video. I done hit 50,000 views. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to y'all, man. Hey, man, everybody hit 2,000 subscribers. I never thought the day would come. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all like the vocals, right? Yeah. I never I never thought it would come, y'all. I really do appreciate y'all, man. It really means a lot, man. It's cold, and I'm up here. I could have been done with this in like 15, 20 minutes, but I'm doing this for y'all, man, so y'all can see it out here in the cold. You know what I'm saying? Struggling. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Cold. So.
once you got all your straps, it's time it's time to tighten them down. You know, and then I'm gonna put the bungees on on any parts of the tarp that are hanging out. You know, anything that might. We all gonna see. We all gonna see. Uh, so I leave y'all right here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Now you got your balls. All you do, all you do is tighten everything down. Let me see if I can set y'all up a little better, man. Let me see if I can see. Cause it's trailing in a way, but y'all see? This right here. It's just tightening it down, y'all. Just go ahead It's time to go do the other side. your bungees on and you tighten them up. You know what I'm saying? These are hard tools to work out. Y'all, you know, it's some stuff that you just can't do nothing about. You know, like that shit, hard as rock. Even though it's sticking out a little bit, it's hard as rock. Same for right here. It ain't going nowhere. Same for this right here. It's hell it is by the strap still. You know, so it ain't, and it ain't no, you know what I'm saying? So I can't just, but it ain't gonna go nowhere. You know? It ain't, it ain't gonna go nowhere. It, it could have gave me a 48 foot trailer for this load. You know, I, I would have appreciated it you know i'm just like for this side about to put a bungee straight down right here yeah about to see but uh, i'm gonna try to let y'all see but you know you know 
Where I put it? Yeah, right here. I had to put a slant. You know, but all of this ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna put an extra one right here since it's hanging over. Now it's time to roll the landing gear back up, guys. Roll the landing gear out. Every time you hook up to a new trailer, you want to make sure that the king pin is really locked. Always check that every single time. Every single time. No matter what. No matter how hard you hit that king pin, you better get out and goddamn check. Because I'm telling you, you drop a trailer. You drop a trailer, it ain't gonna be a good day for you. Put the bungees up. Anything you got hanging on your catwalk, all of that, make sure it's all secured and away so that it don't fall off while you're driving. You always check your tires. Make sure, you know what I'm saying, you ain't got no flat tires. Ain't not wrong, ain't no tire bust out. None of that stuff, you know? I already walked around the other side. I really walked around the trail like six times, you know what I'm saying, checking this stuff, so. You always do that. Make sure you always do that. So. We all hooked up. We all hooked up right here. King penis lock. 
trailer is lifted. Now let's see if I can get a little, a little visual, a little visual pulling out right here. 